I will get everything for you. Everything. I'll get it for you. I okay. Promise. You're going to give me a nervous breakdown. Okay? <laughs> Roxanne. What up, y'all? It's your boy Ace here. And welcome to After News Delight. So, we had a very surprise appearance from Roxanne Perez. Um, and I, I speculated that because I knew that 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 um, faint scene, the the when she passed out, I knew since that was a work, I knew Roxanne Perez would be in this match at Standard Deliver. I, I actually suspected that she was going to be the fifth person in the match that they were going to announce that this week that she was going to be in there to defend her title. Um. So they did a really good job. Like the whole thing, man. They did a really good job at faking people out. You know, they did. Because I think some people got fooled into thinking it was real. I even questioned it myself, but I knew I was leaning towards the work side. Like, I just, I've seen this in pro wrestling way too many times before. So, I was leaning that way. And it ended up being Roxanne Perez is going to be in this match. So, she talked to Shawn Michaels in his, uh, I don't know if it was his office or like a conference. Room. Like, it was wherever Shawn Michaels was at the time in the building. But... She went to him in a pre-taped uh, uh, scene or whatever and basically talked to him about, you know, that the doctors cleared her to be able to compete physically. But Shawn Michaels was, you know, he was definitely doubting if she can handle it. And she made a good case for it. And he said, look, I'm going to allow you to be in this match, but... I need to see your uh, continue to get updates for your doctor leading into the to the match or whatever. Roxanne was very excited. And Roxanne Perez, I think this is her best scene as far as the acting goes. She got she looked like she was very comfortable here, maybe because it was pre taped. Uh, she was able to really not be as nervous and just stand there and cut the promo or whatever she was you know saying and. And do a good job. Because she's, she's actually been getting better with that, as I've noticed, uh, as of late. But this is her best work yet. It's great to see that she's made improvements there. And I'm actually glad that she's in this match. Because, to me, even though it was going to be a vacated title situation, I felt like Roxanne Perez should still be champion, though. Like, I feel like she's been doing a great job as champion. Even though I would have loved to have seen like a Zoe Stark or Tiffany Stratton become champion or Gigi Dolan, I just really felt like it'd be more appropriate if Roxanne was able to defend. If she loses it, I'd rather she loses it defending the title. And I don't think now is the time to actually have her lose it. And I've been saying this for a while. The only person who should take that title off of her is Core J. Core J should be the only one. So when it, Core J's been dealing with an injury. I don't know if y'all heard the update. She's been dealing with an injury. They've been keeping it kind of hush-hush, and that's why she's been out. So it must be like a serious injury because she's been out two months already. Maybe nothing like surgery-type situation, but it's an injury that's been damaging enough to keep her out this long to this point. So, um, But I hope that we get a chance to see her soon because Corey J was on a roll with this heel character, man. So we'll see what happens with that. But um, I think that's the only person that should take it off of her. But we'll see if they do if they do take it off of Roxanne this weekend. But I don't. I believe since she's going to be there to fight, I believe she does keep it. Uh, so I'm definitely changing my prediction on this, man. But uh, we're going to talk about Indy Hartwell uh, winning the last spot in the next video. Definitely some inter inter interesting stuff there. After standard delivery, things are going to get. Very interested in NXT because I want to see who's still going to be in NXT as far as the veterans like Indy Hartwell, Zoe Stark. Are they going to move up to the main roster this year? Stuff like that is definitely stuff that I'm paying attention to. So good stuff there, guys. But uh, go ahead and get this video a like, share, subscribe, y'all. Thank y'all for watching. After news, delight.